All right, so this video is for all of you guys who wanna know how to adjust your Olin's dampers. Uh, this should apply for the majority of Olin's on the market, whether it be the stuff that we do or the Redwood stuff. They are non-inverted dampers in the front and then they're inverted in the rear, which means the adjuster's on the bottom of the shock. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you can access those adjustments right now. All right, so the first thing is we already took the vent cover off. We're gonna pop this push clip out. So I just push from the back, right? So I'll just push it from the back and then pull this out, put that right there. This is your windshield washer fluid reservoir neck. And then under here, you will see the adjuster right there. So we can go ahead and just turn this righty tighty. So clockwise is stiffer, counterclockwise is softer. So for these ones, it's a 20 way adjustable uh, click. You will have more than 20 clicks, but only up till 20 is deemed usable. And I'll just show you real quickly on the passenger side, what's going on. And you just put this back in here, tighten that up. All right, now on the passenger side, you don't need to remove anything. It's literally right there. So you can go ahead and just turn that one again. Clockwise is stiffer, counterclockwise is softer. I always go full stiff until it stops and then I'll count back to my setting. So even if you're going from 10 to eight or 10 to 12, I'll always go back to zero. And then from zero, I'll count back to my softer setting. All right, and that way you can just make sure that the left and the right are both symmetrical and consistent. Now, moving to the rear, I always keep a moving blanket in my vehicle. So I'll lay this on the ground so I can lay on it. Uh, but what I'll show you real quickly is what this damper looks like. So this damper is inverted. And because it's inverted, you have to remember, since it's inverted, you have to remember that turning it this way upside down is tighter, it's stiffer and opposite is gonna be softer. So it's a little bit counterintuitive because typically we're adjusting them this way, where clockwise is stiffer and counterclockwise is softer. But when you flip it upside down, it's the opposite. So you just gotta remember, and that's why I like laying down because I'm looking up at it and it's just as if the shock was not inverted, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys what I gotta do. I get in there and I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, you can soften it up this way or stiffen it up this way. But we're going to get in here, and I don't even know if you guys will be able to see. I have to hand the camera to me. But there is a spring bucket. There's a spring bucket right here. And you'll need to actually feel in there. All right. So get my hand up in here. And I just feel for that adjuster right there. And that's how you can adjust it. And then the same would apply on the other side. I'll just shift the blanket over and then over here, right up here is the bottom of the shock. Okay. And that's where you'll adjust it. So it's pretty much all I can share with you. You'll have to just feel in there and feel for that kind of sprocket looking gear thing and make the adjustments accordingly. But there you go, guys, that's how you adjust it. And if you have any questions, if you bought your stuff from us, just hit me up and I'll help guide you with some baseline settings. And then we can go through a Q and A in terms of like how it feels. And if you wanna make things feel a little bit different, I can try and give you some guidance on that. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share. Hit that uh, bell so we can get notified on all our future videos. All right, we'll see you on the next one.